What is up guys and welcome to High Stakes Hand Reviews, where we're going to break down a $160,000 pot. First want to give a shout out to the guys at BCP for recording this footage, uh, which gives us an insight into some of the high stakes action that goes on on GG Poker and around the world. Um, so we have 500 1000 PLO going on right here and some pretty deep stacks at the table. Uh, so in our hand here, we have an open raise from the button and then a flat call from Ronnie Kaiser in the small blind. Um, this is definitely a trap. Uh, these aces are strong enough to 3-bet by far, even at these stack depths, uh, given that we have uh, one suit. If these were Rambo, I could see a flat and then come back over the top if we see a squeeze from Biedermeyer. But this is definitely a 3-bet, especially when you have the 6 of spades and not the king of spades. You want to build a pot whereby you can cool your opponent a little bit more here if we run into the king high flush draw or the king high flush at some point this hand is going to extract a lot of value so the limp here is trying to get a three a three bet squeeze from Biedermeyer to then come over the top Biedermeyer does just flat with a relatively marginal hand here of jack eight five five and he flops the second nuts and Ronnie Kaiser has the nut blocker, so we're likely to see some spicy action here. And Ronnie Kaiser is going to check most of his range, so not surprising. Biedermeyer should also check most of his range here, but I actually don't mind the lead here because he does unblock all the pairs on the board, and there's going to be a lot of king king and queen queen represented in both of these ranges, especially out of the small blind cold calling range. So a lead here. Uh, it, it is actually quite nice to to extract some value and we do get the fold from the big blind and then Ronnie of course with the nut blocker comes in for the check raise it's a small check raise on the flop and basically he is now representing the nut flush or the nut flush blocker there are not too many other hands that are going to take this line potentially some sets with a heart as well um, but I'm not in love with the check raise, mainly because he blocks the king. So he's blocking top set hands that Biedermeyer might stab with on the flop if he had top set and a heart blocker and maybe a straight draw blocker or something as well. So he's blocking these types of hands. Uh, so making the raise is, is a little bit marginal in my opinion. And Biedermeyer here just has a clear call. I mean, he doesn't want to raise. He already on the flop has a bluff catcher and he needs to understand that his equity in this spot really depends on how often his opponent's bluffing because he has no outs for improvement. So if he needs 50% equity here to call this raise given that, you know, or to get the chips in the middle, given that his opponent and him are quite deep, you know, started with a flop SPR of around 10, he effectively needs his opponent to be bluffing 50% of the time here. So it's actually a tough call, a tougher call than you might think, because you're going to get barreled basically at a 90% plus frequency on any non-board pairing runouts, and you're going to have to call down with the second nuts, which is going to be somewhat of a guessing game. So he does call on, on the flop, and we get the forest spades blank on the turn, and this is just going to be a full range um, bet from Ronnie Kaiser. He should likely just bet pot here. Um, you know, he is wrapping the nuts. He is raised on the flop. He should continue to barrel here. And he is going to get sets to fold uh, for a pot size bet here on the turn. And he does elect to go for the smaller sizing. Um, and we get a snap call from Biedermeyer. And then on the river here, we get the seven of spades. And if I'm in Ronnie Kaiser's shoes, and, and from a GTO perspective as well, you don't really have the best hand to bluff at this point. You bet small on the turn, and so you are going to get some action and calls from sets. 
um, but you are blocking the set. So you are blocking top set, which is your most likely hand that is going to that you're going to fold down at this point. So with the king in my hand, I would actually just give up on this river. Um, but Ronnie with his pair of aces and more importantly, pair of balls jams it in here on the river uh, for 90k. And Biedermeyer thinks about it briefly and is not folding in this spot. Quite a sticky player, especially with the second nuts. And they flip them over and he takes down a $261,000 pot. Wow. Um, well, stay tuned with us for more hand reviews. Make sure you subscribe and check out our website at plopokercoaching.com. And we'll see you guys soon.